Taylor, what was it like to play for Damon? Uh, you know, last night switch. You know, when Joe couldn't go, and what, what's it, what's he been like to kind of get to know over the last year, year plus? Um, Damon, one of my favorite people in the organization. You know, just a, a veteran, a lot of experience in, experiences in different places, playing, coaching, assistant coaching. So, um, Damon's one of my favorite people. So, um, it was fun to go out and get a win for him. Damon uh, was talking about how he tells you and Jason that when you get to the league, you're kind of like getting ready, doing all those things to prepare for big matchups against big stars. But now you guys are on the other end of that. So do you feel that from other teams that they're going against you and you have to step up for that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of games, you know, and, and as, as it should be that way. Um, we feel like we take some teams best shots. They come out, they're ready to play. And you kind of watch them play in other games and they don't play the same. Um, and, and that's just a, a respect factor that is introduced and that's something that, you know, I don't take for granted. You know, I used to be looking at certain matchups too when I first got into the league. Like anytime you play like guys like LeBron or, you know, Carmelo or when, they, when you first got into the league, you had the same, the same look in your eyes. So um, it's just a circle of life and it's just, something you just got to be ready for come with the game can you take us through I mean introductions finding out that Joe is not going to be coaching tonight and then how did Damon do um I think Damon did well you know obviously he wasn't ready or prepared to kind of get thrown out there so um, I thought he held his he held his ground pretty well he tried to get us organized um, at times like he, he called time out and let us know where we needed to be better and stuff like that. And then for him not to be prepared to come out, you know, get us organized, try to run some good sets. I thought he did a good job. I didn't know what the hell happened to Joe or before the game or, you know, but, you know, Damon stepped up and did, did his thing. Did you see Joe at all? No. Your guys were pretty much I, when I, we saw him. I'm still not quite sure what happened, but, you know, Joe's a tough guy. He'll, he'll be all right. <laughs> no doubt. Uh, this was your sixth game that both you and Jalen or Jason, excuse me, um, scored thirty plus. You guys did that eight times all of last year. What is different about this season that you're both able to thrive offensively? Um, I think we just getting gotten better with experience. Um, I think uh, Jason's playing, you know, at all, you know, at all time best level for him, and and we just coming out and just playing, being aggressive. I think that's the the key to it, you know, our offense, our teammates kind of allows it, you know, be able to space the floor, you know, guys who don't get credit, Malcolm, um, D. White, you know, Sam Hauser, uh, Al Horford, great floor spacers, Grant Williams, you know, allows us to be able to play in teams. We don't really see a lot of double teams. I think maybe only one or two teams is maybe double either one of us all year. So um, when you get to play with that freedom, that's out of respect for each other. You get out there and just make plays. That's it. What have you seen from Rob these last couple of weeks since he's come back? Um, Rob has come back, been high energy. He's getting a, a rhythm and a flow into the offense. Um, he's being a great screen setter as, well, as, as he always been. Um, he's protecting the rim like he always does. We've gotten some lobs to him. He's being a high, active offensive rebounder. And Rob could pass the ball too. So. Um, he's somebody that we can throw it to and can play out of uh, action with him. So he's just, you know, getting his rhythm. And, and I tell him to take his time, you know, um, as you're coming back, integrating, you, you want it all back in one game. Just take your time and you'll get back to playing at the level that he knows he can. Joe said before the game, before he was out, um, that there's no guarantee that Rob will start this year. Like, you might just bring him off the bench all season. Um, what kind of different dynamic is that? And is that – you know, something you think could potentially be good, or do you want him back in the starting lineup with you guys? Or? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, that's the first I, I've heard of it. But, you know, Rob is special for us. He was special for us last year. So having him confident and comfortable is going to be key, you know, as he's starting to, to integrate back and get healthier and starting to uh, um, gain his confidence. That's what we need because, you know, down the line, um, Rob brings an element to the game that, I don't think anybody else in our team can bring. Offensively, he's a high offensive rebounder, active offensive rebounder, plays a butter rim. Um, so it makes it easier for guys like me because um, I can get assists, like throwing lobs to him. 
Um, so, you know, we need Rob to be confident and comfortable in whatever role he's in. So uh, I'm sure we'll figure it out. We don't see you and Jason a lot in the pick and roll, <clears throat> excuse me, as, as, especially with you as the ball handler. I remember earlier this season, you said you wanted to work more as a ball handler in the pick and roll. How was that? How was it like working the pick and roll with Jason? And what about this year's team allows you to do that? Would you like to do that more? Yeah, I mean, uh, the, we play to the strengths of our team. Um, so that's the key. Like, we come out and we, we play. We keep the floor space because we got a bunch of shooters, right? So bringing another guy to the ball in the pick and roll. Um, usually it's been Al. We've had a, it's another floor spacer. Uh, I think that, you know, those looks have been a lot less for us. I think we've ran, I haven't run a lot of pick and rolls. I haven't been um, active in that role, but, you know, that's something that I definitely, you know, going into the season, I wanted to emphasize, you know, being able to play out of the pick and roll. But, you know, um, the way our team is set up, you know, sometimes, you know, playing off ball actions and creating confusion is the best way to, you know, get teams on their heels, creating those advantages. We still play in the pick and roll, but, you know, um, we definitely get some good looks playing out of any anyway. So uh, I say, I guess going forward, we just got to continue to do what we've been doing because offensively, I think we're doing pretty good. What happened there with the flagrant foul? I'm not sure. I don't even remember. I took a shot um, to the head. I can't remember what happened. I haven't even seen the play, but, you know, it hurt. I'll tell you that. And you kind of went off after that. Is that related to you getting – Inspired by that, or yeah, sometimes you get smacked in the face. It's exactly what you need during the middle of a game. Like, like Jalen, what the hell are you doing? Smack in the face, and then proceed to score the ball. <laughs> Am I allowed to? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Thank you. Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford proud.